Welcome back to Instables, everyone. Happy Saturday. I hope you guys are having a blessed weekend. I wanted to go over exactly what we're looking for going into this next week. Again, after closing within our prior body candle here on the daily chart, after rejecting our 0.5 fib, and again, closing below our 0.382 fib as we're leading into this Wednesday's Fed rate hike. What exactly are we looking for? Will we continue on with this rejection below our 20 day moving average since we have been crossing lower here? I'm going to go over exactly what we're looking for here. Hit the like button if you enjoy. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And if you are a day trader, if you want to see pre market news that you want to be watching, if you're looking for data sets that you want to be watching, for example, 30 minutes before market opened, the market very much does react to certain data sets and you didn't know that they were coming out or 30 minutes after market open if you guys are trading out the gate movers or just looking for those major volatile breakouts on news that we mention every single day in the Instables room, go to instables.com in the description below. And for only $15 a month, you will never miss a breakout alert today. Again, let's jump into this one. Welcome back to Instables, everyone. Again, going over our intraday swing and long perspective as we lead into one of the most important Fed rate hikes coming in next Wednesday. Again, after retesting our 0.5 fib here and getting a rejection again, clearly getting a gap down and a rejection here. And again, that is after, again, this morning, Bank Swiss was selling off. So again, continuing on below our 0.382 fib here and now closing below our 0.382 fib, now sitting within our prior body's candle where exactly are we headed next? I'm going to go over exactly what we're looking for going into next week. Hit the like button if you enjoy. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And if you are a day trader, if you want to see pre-market news that you want to be watching, if you're looking for data sets that you want to be watching, for example, 30 minutes before market opened, the market very much does react to certain data sets and you didn't know that they were coming out. Or 30 minutes after market open, if you guys are trading out the gate movers, or just looking for those major volatile breakouts on news that we mention every single day in the Instables room, go to instables.com in the description below. And for only $15 a month, you will never miss a breakout alert today. Again, let's jump into this one. So jumping into the spy with you guys here, looking at our intraday perspective off the bat again, looking at our daily candle structure so we can anticipate what we are looking for coming in next. Again, getting a rejection on our 0.5 fib as we did mention. And again, continuing on with that rejection, dropping below our 0.382 fib. Again, a very perfect rejection that we got here on our exact point on our 0.5 fib. Again, that also is just below our 20 day moving average as we have been curling down below our 50, looking for that possible bearish momentum possibly closing within our prior body candle like we did mention and sure enough that's exactly what happened so now looking to see if we will possibly continue on lower to possibly retest our prior balance low here again this is our 374 level just below our 375 level that we would be reaching for that possible retest on if in my opinion we had a very bearish rate hike to come now as we close with an inside body candle from our prior body's candle on the daily chart Looking at our swing perspective here on a weekly chart again, getting that rejection here as we did mention in our prior videos, we would possibly close with this solid bodies candle that we did have on the week, possibly closing with the rejection. And that's exactly what happened here, closing with the rejection on our 20 and our 50 weekly moving average. So again, if we possibly are going to continue on higher, we still do need to close above our 50 and our 20 weekly moving average and get that bullish candle structure possible engulfing candle any bullish move above our 50 and our weekly moving average would be that bullish momentum that we are looking for and looking to play into. Now, the reason why we have been talking about this possible rejection is because our prior week's candle was closing below our 20 and our 50 weekly moving average. We wanted to make sure this candle would not close with the rejection candle. And sure enough, closing with that rejection candle, giving us now that possibility of a continuation continuing on lower here if we continue on with rejection momentum to the upside again. So next week's very key point here will be here at 390. Again, this is our close on the week. If we happen to drop down below our 390 level, again, this is also our 50 weekly moving average, then that could be that possible continuation on lower. So again, making sure that we are cautious. We want to see if we would possibly close above our 50 weekly moving average going to next week. 
Again, opening lower here, closing higher here, testing our 50 week limiting average to close the week is exactly what we're looking at here. So again, making sure that we do get that confirmation, one very key indicator that we have been keeping an eye on for that possible continuation on that pullback is our 12 and our 26 EMA here on our weekly MACD. Again, looking to see if we would possibly cross lower. We are just crossing lower here. As you guys can see here again mentioning that we would possibly cross lower here with our 12 and our 26 and sure enough crossing lower here very cautious making sure that we do not continue to cross lower here what needs to happen here for us to possibly get that swing momentum to the upside is going to be our 12 and our 26 on our macd crossing back higher here if they do not cross higher then we are not strong to the upside we are looking for that possible continuation on bearish candle setups on the daily chart to the downside until this does happen so again this is what we're looking for this is our momentum leading into the next week and no surprise very much leading into a possible bearish fed rate hike to come again very very cautious but very much could be a very bullish move now looking at our monthly chart again representing our long perspective as you guys can see we had a rejection from last month that we mentioned also a solid green bar that we had that we did mention very much testing our 20 month moving average here from and could be a rejection candle that could close and that's exactly what happened here very similar to the weekly chart that we just had happen from last week into this week and now sitting on a doji candle still closing this candle here so very much indecisive as we lead into next wednesday's fed rate hike in my opinion if we do get any bullish momentum in my opinion very much will be predicated on next week's fed rate hike so again if we do get that bullish momentum maybe we do possibly close with an engulfing candle here on a continuation on higher from our prior bodies close however at this point in time we are sitting below our prior bodies close making sure that we are cautious on a possible continuation on this rejection that we had prior again if this area of balance is going to be a continuation on lower from this balance then we need to make sure we are careful as we are sitting on a rejection on our 20 month moving average so again long term making sure that we are cautious that confirmation that you will be looking for long term is going to be our 12 and our 26 on our monthly chart crossing higher here we have not started to curl up until we start to curl up we are not early to a long major run here so again making sure that we are cautious we will know exactly when that happens as we go over our intraday swing and long perspective every day but again when we do get this cross here we will know exactly here on the channel as always now to recap on our intraday perspective after getting a rejection on our 0.5 fib again closing below our 0.382 fib what i would be looking for is to see if we will possibly continue with any bearish candle setups to the downside here since we do have more room to run to the downside than to the upside however within our prior balance that we have been within so again looking to see what the feds will mention throughout the week in my opinion on top of any bank news any major failures of course will be on watch but again any feds that mention any possible 25 point base rate hikes may give the market more of a bounce this week than a pullback or if we get possible additional banks that do continue to fail of course we will continue to pull back so again going into this week we will very much be watching which data does come out what exactly our fed rate hike is and if we have any additional banks that are failing again making sure that you are updated on any bank news early pre-market or over the weekend is extremely key we do mention any pre-market news that you want to be watching any data that you want to be watching before market open every single day in the instable zoom so if you are a day trader if you're looking for pre-market news major volatile movers before market open if you are market prepping before the market opens go to instables.com in the description below and for only 15 dollars a month you will never miss a break alert today again and again all of you instables i appreciate you guys for supporting the channel every single day much love to every one of you guys being very cautious as our 20 day is below our 50 here again leading into this wednesday's fed rate hike we will see if we continue with bearish candle structure setups we will let the play come to us here and again if you guys do like this video it does help the channel grow and i do appreciate it very much and again god bless you all and i'll see you guys in the next video